Hey everyone, it's Christian from Racknerd with some great news to share. Solus VM version 2 is now released. And in this video, we are going to go over the latest changes and find out what's new. In addition, we will talk about what this means for our valued Racknerd customers. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now before we dive into talking about what is new, let us first take a moment to appreciate how big of a deal this actually is. The launch of Solus VM version 2 has been anticipated for a very long time now. In fact, Solus VM 2 was promised by Solus VM back in 2010 with an original anticipated release date of May 2012. Well, needless to say that that date was never met, and here we are 10 years later, and Solus VM 2 is finally coming to fruition. This is actually a pretty big and important news, if I do say so myself. And to give you some additional background here, a company called OnApp acquired Solus VM in 2014, and Plesk acquired Solus VM from OnApp in 2018, and Plesk still owns it. So Solus VM, owners have changed hands numerous times over the years. This likely contributed to the delay of version 2, at least in my opinion it did. However, it does look like the Plus team is taking great effort in enhancing and maintaining Solus VM product. We here at Racknerd are for one very excited about this update and we hope you are too. So what's new with Solus VM version 2? Well, according to Solus VM, Solus VM version 2 is the next generation of time-tested VM solutions. Solus VM is the longest VPS control panel software in the market, it has an extremely established track record, in addition to a very big user base. What features are in the new Solus VM version 2? Here are the top 5 features that are now included with Solus VM version 2. Number one, out of the box integration with Plesk and cPanel licensing systems, which means VPS end users will be able to activate cPanel and Plesk licenses instantly via the panel, assuming the hosting provider has a partnership with Plesk and cPanel. Number two, Solus VM version two has more than 10 predefined launch scenarios from managed WordPress solutions to get hosting. This allows hosting providers to be more SaaS oriented. Number three, API first approach. All features are available through the API. This is a great plus for developers and hosting providers that have custom development created surrounding their Solus VM environment. Number four, all new and modern user interface for both users and admins. This is a big improvement in my opinion because Solus VM version 1 has been riding out its current design and UI for over a decade. The new interface is quite refreshing to see. Here are some screenshots. As you can see, the new interface is quite intuitive and modern, a big improvement from Solus VM v1. And finally, number five, snapshot support is available in Solus VM v2, in addition to an improved backup system. These are the top five new features worth mentioning in our opinion, but that's not it. There are more features that are going to be released or have already been released in Solus VM 2. And I'll be leaving a link to the Solus VM roadmap in the video description below so you can learn more about what additional features will be implemented. In my opinion, the Solus VM version 2 release came at the perfect time, or arguably it was a little bit overdue even. Almost felt that Solus VM was getting stagnant and falling behind in terms of features that would allow it to compete with others such as Virtualizer and VertFusion. The VPS control panel software space is quite competitive with quite a few different options. New players such as VertFusion have been coming to the market offering a more modern end user experience. So it's more important for Solus VM to not fall behind or lose any of that market share. Needless to say, version 2 looks promising with a ton of new features and all that new user experience. 
and we hope it was worth the wait. Now one last thing to note here, we should not expect many hosting providers to switch over to Solus VM2 until early 2023. As an importer tool for Solus VM version 1 to version 2 will not be available until the first quarter of 2023. That is according to Solus VM's announcement. However, Solus VM is currently immediately available for those who wish to start it as a new installation. So what does this mean for RackNerd customers? As you may be aware, RackNerd's Nerd VM control panel is powered by the Solus VM software. This is the control panel interface that allows our VPS customers to start, stop, reinstall, and manage their VPS servers under one interface. It also allows us to provide instant provisioning for our VPS services. Because we leverage the technology of Solus VM, this means that in 2023, assuming that Solus VM 2 in our testing proves to be stable and suitable for our customer needs, RackNerd will transition Nerd VM over to Solus VM version 2, and this will allow us to introduce more features to our customers including, but not limited to, automated cPanel licensing, automated Plesk licensing, VPS snapshot options, a new and modern interface, and more. Once the time comes closer, we will be doing more videos about this subject as well as announcing this on our social media channels. So be sure to be subscribed so you can stay in the loop. If you're looking for a reliable VPS hosting provider that utilizes the Solus VM control panel, be sure to check out Rackner's VPS specials at rackner.com forward slash special. Thank you for watching this video. We are extremely excited about this and we will certainly keep everyone updated as to if and when we transition over to Solus VM version two in 2023. If you enjoyed watching, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. We'd really appreciate your support. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next video.